Okay, so that's enough you need to know about the battery inverter. Let's look at the, the second type, the inverter charger. So an inverter charger is, as the name says, a combination between a simple inverter and a battery charger that just fused into one, placed into one box, but inside of this box there's a two different kind of hardware that are working together. The inverter charger takes DC power from the battery or sends it back into the battery when it's charging the battery and it sends AC power out to the loads as they're consuming power from the inverter charger. You can power up your unit with whatever kind of AC source that you have available, either with a grid or a generator, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, some people also use a secondary battery charger to then use the AC power converted into DC and also charge your battery bank. Now, I would always advise against this, that is possible, but it gets a bit funny how to set up the system uh, and avoid it that it becomes unbalanced. The best choice is to choose an inverter charger that has the right capacity for your battery bank. So therefore the charger section of your inverter charger should be big enough that you can charge your battery bank in the right amount of time. And of course you can also extend your DC charging capacity by having an, uh, another DC source available such as your solar or wind power going straight into your uh, DC battery bank. Now there's one specific thing that I would like to explain to you regarding the use of generators in combination with inverted chargers. So let's start with the normal setup again. We've got an inverted charger, battery in your loads, and now you have a generator providing AC power towards your inverted charger. Now, if your batteries are not fully charged, then your charger functionality will notice that. It will start to use the AC power, convert it into DC, and charge your batteries properly. And then at the same time, if you would turn on certain appliances in your house or, or whatever, if you would turn certain loads on, and if your generator is strong enough to do it both, both charging the batteries and providing the power towards your loads, then it can do that at the same time. There's no issues and uh, the system is running perfectly stable. But now assume that something changes and you would increase the loads, you would increase the amount of appliances that you have turned on. And if this would now result to a situation whereby you might overload the generator because you have your charger working, you have your loads on already and then you would increase the loads even further, it would be pretty neat if the inverter charger would be smart enough to temporarily discontinue the charging on the DC side, so the charging of your batteries, in order to mm, avoid that your generator would be overloaded, right? So this is possible with the smarter type of inverter chargers. So the smart inverter chargers are kind of a hop in between the two energy sources, in between the battery as an energy source and the uh, generator as an energy source. Now, as you're shopping for inverters, um, another thing I would like to point out that some of the smart inverter chargers also have the generator assist option. And this is a, a quite an interesting option and I'll explain what it means. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So let's start off with this situation whereby you have already increased the loads on the overall system. And as a result, your smart inverted charger has decided that it will temporarily interrupt the DC charging capacity of the, the charger and therefore protecting your generator that it wouldn't be overloaded. So now if you would further increase the loads for a short amount of time, it would be nice if the inverter charger can now activate the inverter function, draw power from the batteries, which then can work together with the generator to provide even a, um, a higher power output towards your loads. So this is what the generator assist function can do for you. Not a lot of people know about this and in certain situations it can really help you because you then don't have to oversize your generator in order to uh, be able to supply those very short bursts of power that you might need for starting something big. So not a lot of people know about this, but it can really help you out in, if you want to balance your system properly. So uh, it will be useful for you. So that's all you need to know for now about inverted charges. So you understand what battery inverters are, what inverted charges are. So let's look at the last one and we'll look at specifically the solar inverters.